Hello and welcome to my empties video. So I have a lot of empties to share with you. So I'm going to get started. The first thing is these flip tie um, good sense spring scent garbage bags. You get 14 of them. And these are really nice. I really like them and I would purchase them again. And I got those at Dollar Tree. This is the Honeysuckle Dryer Sheets. I got these at Dollar General. Love them. They smell so good. Would we'll repurchase. That's like, I think I've purchased those a couple times before. I got the, these are, this is the Bolero. Mini bath bombs. It's a three pack and relax and soak, less stress melt. Oh, wait a minute. Relax and soak, let stress melt away. It's in the English rose blossom and it is nourishing. Nourishing. Um, love these. I love from so far from the Bolero, the new ones. I like the hand soap and I like the makeup remover wipes, but I love the mini bath bombs and I love the, um, I think it's called bath soak. They look like bath, the bath salts, but I think they call it bath soak. Love those. Awesome. This is the personal care moisturizing shave gel, sensitive, silky smooth. Um, it's some raspberry scent. It has vitamin E and aloe. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I do like this one. Aside from the Pure Silk, which is my favorite, this one I will repurchase it again. And I think there's an Assured one that I would not repurchase again. And there was another one too that I did not like. And I would not purchase it again. This is the Epiel. Um, or a peel, I don't know, I call it FEL. The cucumber cleansing tissues, you get 60 of them. I got these at Big Lots and I love these and I would purchase them again, but I have like six, I think, <laughs> including the like seven I need to go through from the Bolero and I have like a couple other different brands. I need to finish those before I purchase any more makeup wipes. So, yes, love those. Okay, this is the Chic, Chic, or Chic Silk Effects Plus um, razor. And you get one razor and two cartridges. And, um,. This has, this is the one that has like the floral handle. It has like that floral print handle. And it is pretty. <laughs> it only has two blades. So, and it, sometimes I have to put it at awkward angles to shave. So, I don't know. I like it, but I don't love it. I got this at Dollar General. So, I don't think I would purchase that again. This is the Doritos. See, you kind of been, these are like in a cardboard um, package. So, you have, you kind of like bend it like that to keep them fresh. These only lasted a couple days at my house. <laughs> so, these are the Doritos Crunch Mix and Cool Ranch. And it has um, Crunch Nut, which is like a nut with like a outer Dorito shell. It has a pretzel bite, puff, a 3D triangle Dorito, and corn stick. Delicious. These were new at like my Walmart and I picked them up and tried them. Me and my husband liked them. My son didn't want to try them, but they're good. He loves the Doritos. Like he loves the Nacho Doritos and the Cool Ranch Doritos, but he didn't want to try those. The Color Ready Permanent Cream Hair Color in Medium Brown. So this is at the Dollar Tree and I love it. So I would purchase it again. And 
And this is the Raspberry and Rose Scented Shower Gel by April Bath and Shower. And I think this is one of my favorite scents in the April Bath and Shower. And it is. I love this scent. I would purchase it again. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're the Nature's House Mixed Nuts. It says less than 80% peanuts. There were a lot of peanuts in there. It, but it has peanuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, almonds, walnuts, roasted in peanut. Okay, that's the ingredients. But it's some flower seed. No, there were no sunflower seeds in this. The thing, I did like these, and it did give, it gave me a lot of almonds, which it usually doesn't do that with things like this. And this is just a 3.5 ounce can. So I would purchase these again. They were good. I have these disposable gloves. I use these in, when I'm cooking because I don't like to touch meat. So I use these to, you know, like when I'm cleaning my chicken and like cutting the fat off of it and stuff like that. When I am, you know, getting the hamburger to brown it or when I'm putting it in a bowl for meatloaf. Anytime I'm touching meat, I'm usually wearing these because I don't like to touch the meat. This is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for all skin types. It is every age, every stage, every day. It's lightweight lightweight hydration for everyday use fragrance free i used this and it felt wait a minute i don't know if this it was the, the lotion or the face wash anyways my son finished it and he liked it so i would purchase it again for him this is the good sense flat ties large large trash bags you get nine instead of seven Two bags free. They're the 30 gallon, and I would purchase those again. I like these. Those I use um because I have like I think five little trash cans. Like three, the three bedrooms have a little trash can, and then the two bathrooms have a little trash can. So I use that one to like gather up all the little trash bags around the house. I have this Citrus Cloud um, Aromatic Diffuser. I got this at Target and I don't know if you can see it but it's over here. Here it is. And when I was before, when I first walked into this room, I could smell it, but now, not really, like, not that much. It is in the Fresh Mango Magnolia Zesty, Zesty Mandarin fragrance, and, um, I don't know how I would purchase this again. This is, like, I think this is the first time I've ever tried this, um, diffuser. I have another one also. So, I don't know. I think I'm supposed to um, rotate also. Like, rotate those um, reeds. Is that what they are? Yep, the reeds. And I haven't been doing that. So, that could be why I'm not smelling it anymore. I need to do that. But, I don't really care for this scent. I'm not a citrus kind of girl. But it was fun to try it. And this is the Nature's House Fruit and Nut Trail Mix. Love it. I will purchase it again. And this one is great for snacking, baking, cereal topping, salads. Um, I just ate it out of the bag. But it is a blend of dates, soy nuts, sunflower kernels, raisins, and peanuts. I love this kind of trail mix. I don't really like the, like the trail mix that has like the chocolate in it, but I love this. 
I think it's like the M&M's that, are, that I don't like that is in um, the trail mixes sometimes. Like sometimes the little chocolate chips, they're fine, but like the M&M's, I don't like it. I got these vinyl gloves. There's a, they're a 10 pack. Now those other gloves that I showed you come in a 100 pack. But this I like to use, you know, when I'm taking the garbage out and stuff like that. Sometimes, and also like when if I'm cleaning the toilets, I like to use these. So, yeah. Let me get these owl <laughs> um, soaps. So we can talk about them. Okay, these owls. So this one is the fresh pear scent, the strawberry scent, the apple scented. Yeah, I kept the little tag so that I could tell you guys the scent of them. And the sweet cherry scent. And these are all super cute. I'm throwing them away because I don't really have like any, I don't want to put lotion or anything like that in them. And I do like owls, but not, I'm not obsessed with owls. Anyways, I did not like the scent of those hand soaps because the cherry ones smell like trimetic cough syrup that I used to take when I was a kid and I couldn't stand the smell or the taste of that. So... <laughs> And then the strawberry had an off scent also. And they were not the best soaps. I don't, it's something like, you know, you put something on your wish list from Dollar Tree and then later on you're like, why in the world did I put that on my wish list? And that is, those are like the one, you know, one of those things. I'm glad that I could just use the soap. I did finish all the soaps. <laughs> Even though I didn't care for the scent of them, they still washed my hands, so I kept them. It's just, like, I don't know, like, I think, I don't know why, like, I was never, didn't never want to get the lip glosses or the hand lotions, but for some reason, I was so excited when I found the hand soaps, I don't know why, and... Now, I'm glad I'm done with them, and I won't pick them up again. Okay, so, I got, I finished two of these samples of the La Vie Estabelle by Lancome. It is a, um, like a sweet floral scent. So many people gave me compliments on this perfume. A lady that was checking me out at the Dollar Tree gave me a compliment on this perfume. And there was another lady, too. I can't remember where I was. A, a few people gave me compliments on this perfume. And I do have a dupe of it that I got from the Dollar Tree. So the lady at Dollar Tree, I was telling her about that when I was checking out in line. So, I still have the lotion of this one. But, this is such a great smell. If you like a sweet floral or like, it's mainly sweet maybe, I think you will like this scent. I got the Palm Olive um, Apple Pear scent dish soap. I don't. So that was, I love Palm Olive and Dawn. There's like my favorite dish soaps and I do like Ajax every now and then 20 mini glue sticks from Dollar Tree and love these I go through evidently a lot of those because <laughs> last empties I had like a few of those I think because I've been loving like crafting I don't know I guess it was it's called like I've been making like a lot of home decor things and I've been and I'm gonna start redoing the DIYs on my channel if you guys I filmed some already and if you guys do like those then I'll do more of those. So let me know if that's something that you like to watch. 
watch and I like to watch when people do those too but a few people requested them so that's why I started doing those um this is the Tarte Amazonian is it Mir no it's not Amazonian it's the Tarte I think it's Maracuja oil and this I think you can use this on your body and on your hair. I think that's what the girl at Sephora told me. So I did use it on my hair. And it was either this or this Aragon, wait a minute, Argan Oil from Morocco Intense Deep Conditioning Hair Treatment. One of these made my hair oily. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> one of them did. And I think this, to be fair, um, this Hask, I guess that's the, the brand of this. It says professional on this also. But I used this whole thing, and I think I could have gotten away with using, like, having two treatments out of this. That could be what happened, why my hair was, like, so oily from that. But it says it's strength, and I didn't. I would not purchase this again. I would not purchase this Mar Maracuja oil again. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right by Tarte. Neither one of them. I would never. I would not repurchase either one of them because I got this sample like a long time ago and I just finished it. And then this one, it's not today's hair that got oily though. It was. The video that I'm wearing, like the light blue vest, that's the one. I don't know if you could tell in those videos that my hair was looked oily, but those are the ones where I use this. Um, but I think this works good, and I've heard a lot of people like this. The thing that turned me off of this is the scent. I can I don't like the scent, and I thought, okay, when I was in the shower, I was like, okay. Maybe the scent will go away like after I rinse the side of my hair and it didn't. It lingered in my hair and I didn't like it so I wouldn't purchase this or the, you know, the Tarte one. So no. Okay, this was the April Bath and Showers shower cap. So, I, when I dyed my hair, I use a shower cap but I, you can use a Usually, before, I used to use a grocery bag. That's what I'm trying to think of. I used to use a grocery bag and just, you know, put it on my hair. And I would take the little handles and tie it and, like, tuck it under and just push it down on my head to get, like, all the air out of the gar the not the garbage bag, the grocery bag. And I started using the shower caps. And either one will work. So, yes, I would purchase this shower cap again. And this was a really pretty, like, floral one, too. So, they were bath and shower shower caps. I don't know how well they do, like, when you're in the shower and you want to keep your hair dry. But I do know that if it's something, if you want to use it for, like, hair dye or to put a deep condition in your hair, something like that, then they work great, like, I didn't get dye on any of my furniture. I didn't like put my head back either. But yeah. They kept, you know, they're good. They're pretty good. They're pretty sturdy also. Like you could probably use, you know, you probably you don't have to like use it once and then throw it away. You could probably use it multiple times if you're not doing like I did with the hair dye. Okay, so these that I have here, I transferred like my stuff into the pumps from the Dollar Tree and I have one over here and I will show it to you. This. And it has like the pump there. So, that's why I am getting rid of these. So, that one that you just saw was the Swan Nail Polish Remover Strengthening 
with gelatin for natural nails in the six fluid ounces and I love this. You get it at the Dollar Tree. So I love it and I will repurchase it. But right now I have that what I just showed you and I also have another like bottle that's like got this much in it. So when I run out I will repurchase it again. And I love these um, oil-free eye makeup remover, which I don't know if they're really oil-free. You do have to like shake them up. I have it in the Neutrogena and the Equate version of it, which is the um, compared to Neutrogena. This one you get 5.5 ounces, and this one is 3.8 ounces. This is the Neutrogena. This is the Equate version. The ingredients on them the first few ingredients are the same actually the first four five six seven wow and i've heard as long as like the first few ingredients are the same then pretty much you know it's the same thing so this one is, like I said, the oil-free makeup eye makeup remover by Neutrogena. Effective and gentle. Removes even waterproof mascara. I don't wear, I don't usually wear waterproof mascara. I think I had once before and it did remove it. It says no oily residue. I don't really know about that. But see, after I take off my eye makeup remover, usually I take a makeup wipe and like wipe my whole face off, you know, to get like the rest of my makeup off. And then I actually like wash my face so but this does a great job of getting my eye makeup off and i love it this is like my holy grail so definitely we'll repurchase it and this is the ole oil minimizing clean toner and again i had to i empty this out into one of those um containers but i love this um toner I would purchase it again. It says it has witch hazel also. I got this at Dollar General. The um, makeup, eye makeup remover, I got it from Walmart. And I believe like the Equate version is a few dollars less than the Neutrogena, but they're the exact same thing. So this one got a Dollar General, like I was saying, and I will repurchase it again. I believe this is like my, I purchased several of these, so yes, it's a good time. I think when you do with skincare, yes, you should invest in like your skincare, but I think you should invest in a good eye cream and a good moisturizer. The toner and that's about all. I think I, yeah, I use like an eye serum and an eye cream, and I use a toner, and I use a moisturizer. I think that's about all I have in my skincare routine right now. But the thing, the most important thing to me is like your eye cream and your uh, moisturizer or serum. Those I would, you know, pay the extra money for, but toner, not so much. Now, I have two more items, and then these will, these, that will be all of my empties. So, the Emoji Adhesive Bandages in Fun Designs. So, I finished those, and they are fun. <laughs> and my son likes these, too. So, yes, we'll repurchase those. I found those at Dollar Tree. And then this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It has SPF 20. I'm in the color 805 Ivory. It says all day flawless coverage. Lasting power of a primer. Coverage of a concealer. And blendability of a foundation in one. And it is shine free. And this is what it looks like at first. I didn't like this foundation. But... I kept using it and I ended up really liking it and I think a lot of people like this foundation. Um, I, it has a pump and I'm sorry with about how nasty this is but <laughs> look at wow but I mean I don't see a point in cleaning trash 
Um, I still use the concealer with this, but I think this is, and I still use the primer also, but I think it was really good. It was, I think it's good coverage. I think I would repurchase this. I do have quite a few, um, foundations that I want to use. If they even still sell this, I believe they do, but I'm not sure. I would purchase this again and I would get maybe this this ivory color is a little bit too light for my skin so I would probably get um, like the next color after this but it's a great foundation and that is my empties I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching bye